Hey guys, it's your girl Ashley. If you're new to my channel, what's up? So today I wanted to film something a little bit different. I kind of wanted to create kind of like a vlog kind of style because today I'm going to be cooking, I mean not cooking, I'm baking cookies for the first time and I wanted to bring you guys along with me because why not? Why can I not do that? So I don't know exactly how this is going to come out because I've never done it before, but I'm really hoping for the best. So I'm just going to bring you with me. So before we start, you know, I am wearing a Mickey shirt because I do like Disney. And guess what? Just you wait. I got a mandil of Disney too, so we're going to put this on. Also, I'm not wearing any makeup, but that's because today is my, you know, day off and I don't have to. This is like my beautiful self. So good. Alright guys, so I have a bunch of ingredients right over here that we're going to be going over. But right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to preheat this oven. Um, why am I going over here? It's supposed to be down here. Okay, obviously, you guys can see I don't really cook that much. But it says to preheat to 375, which is right there. That's 350, 375, and 400. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some foil here and get that ready. I don't have a baking sheet. Normally, that's what you would want to use, but I don't have that. So, that's why I'm using foil. I'm just going to put that here, and I'm going to spray it down with some of this uh, Pam oil. Shake it very well, and just a little spritz. That's it. Now we're going to go ahead and mix our dry ingredients. So I got this brand here because that's the one that I've seen my mom use all the time. But she normally gets the bleach version, version, <laughs> version. And I got the unbleached version because somewhere I read that that's better. But um, this is what it looks like. And it says that we're going to use three cups. So I'm using just a measuring cup and I'm just going to grab it and dig it in here. And kind of. Flatten it out a little bit. That's a little much. So you see that it's going to be a cup. So like that's pretty good. So I'm going to get three cups. Right, I'm switching up angles because I need you to see my beautiful self. You know, it's like hard to film when you don't have a kitchen with an island. You know, because I'm not a rich girl. I'm rich at heart though. Okay. So. Now I have my baking powder here, and it says that I need one teaspoon, so I'm just gonna... Why is this hard? This is like rock hard. I have to like soften it up. So, one teaspoon. It goes in. Now it says I need half a teaspoon of baking soda, so... It said to open right here, but I don't know how that's gonna work. How am I gonna like... So I guess I have to be careful and fill this up. That's gonna be more of a teaspoon. If I do it that way, how do you even, that's the Ashley way. Now it's asking for one teaspoon of sea salt, so. Bro, this is going to take forever. All right. I got that. I'm just going to go ahead and mix this up a little bit so you guys can see. I have my flour, my baking soda, my baking powder, and my sea salt. So I'm just going to use one of these to just kind of mix everything together. Look at the look at the Look at the look at the wrist. Okay, now this is where I get confused because it's asking me to mix together the butter and the sugars. Now it says to use one cup of um, softened butter. So it's not melted butter that they're asking for. They're asking for softened. But this is the butter that I'm using. I'm using the Tillamook. And I'm sorry. I'm swearing. This guy. Always interrupting me. Anyways, that food's not going anywhere, so I have to continue. But the butter that I'm using is this one here. And what's cool about it is over here on the side, it kind of tells you, like, if you use this much, that's one tablespoon, you know, two tablespoons, three tablespoons, four, five, six, whatever, right? But then it also tells you by cup. This is one-fourth cup, one-third cup, and half a cup. So it's asking me for one cup. So what I'm thinking is, do I use two? Because this is half a cup. Another one of this one would equal one cup. Like, that looks like a lot of butter, but, you know, I mean, diabetes it is, so. Since it's going to ask me to mix it together, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this. That's a lot of butter, bro. I've never seen, like, you know, butter like that. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in the microwave just so that it can melt a little bit more so that it makes it easier to mix. Oh, my goodness. Look at 
it's like some of it is melted and some of them is not. I really hope I didn't mess this up, but I'm just going to transfer all of this into here. I'm definitely going to be putting the link that I'm using like for the recipe down below, but this got me messed up, bro. It says that it wants me to add one cup of brown um, packed sugar. What do you mean by packed? What do you mean by packed? And then it wants like one cup of white sugar too. So I'm going to put, you know, Tupperware. That's what it's all about. So I'm going to put, oh, I need to wash my cup. All right, I got my clean cup here. And I'm sorry I'm not in the frame, bro. Like, what do you want me to do about it? I'm tall. Okay, so. This is probably not even the right way of pouring your sugar into a cup, but this is the Ashley way. Okay, that's just a little bit past the cup. Okay, that's a lot. That's a lot. Do, am I doing this right? That's so much. Dude, these are going to be some sweet ass cookies, bruh. Ew, I said that really manly. I'm actually a little worried and concerned right now. I don't know <laughs> if I'm even doing this correctly. Okay. There. Just gonna mix this up. I don't know how this is gonna work. I need a bigger kitchen. I need a whole crew. I'm gonna start Betty Crockering up in here. Ronaldo, does this look? I mean, it's starting to look creamy. Look, it looks, looks good now. Okay. It said somewhere where you don't want to over mix it, but yo, my oven's been on for quite a minute, so I feel like if you're a beginner, you might want to wait a little bit on that. But it's asking me to go ahead and put <clears throat> it's asking me to go ahead and put vanilla extract as well as two eggs in. So I'm using this one. This is the Mexican brand of vanilla. And it says to just put in uh can't remember. Let me double check. It actually asked me for two. So I'm gonna put in two teaspoons of vanilla. And now we're gonna put the wells. Like, let's see if I can do a little trick for y'all here. Well style. There you go. Perfecto. No shells in there. Okay, so now we have that in here. We're going to go ahead and just mix this up. This is actually starting to smell really freaking good. Not going to lie. <laughs> Looking real good. Crazy is, I didn't think it was just going to be like one egg. I thought it was going to need more than that. What surprises me right now is the fact of how much sugar is in here as well. Yeah, just how much sugar and butter is in here actually is what I'm tripping about. You can hear that graininess. It's all that sugar. This smells so good. It smells like icing, bro. Why do I keep saying bro? What's up with that? Okay, I feel like I mixed it pretty good. Look. I kind of messed up. I feel like I should have mixed in the butter and sugar and all that in this bigger one and the flour in this one. That would be easier to transfer because now I have to transfer this into here and this is creamier, you know? So I'm going to lose some of that stuff because now it's asking me to combine everything together. So that's what I'm doing right now. I got most of it out. This I kind of want to like put my finger and lick it, but at the same time, I'm like, oh no. And what's up with my little flequito? You guys see that? It has its mind of its own. <laughs> so now I have to mix this together, combine it. This is so like messy and hard to like combine. There's still so much powder. Like, I mean, it's getting better than what it was, but there's still <sighs> so much powder. So much powder. All right, so I did the best that I could. It looks like masa. Now it's asking me to go ahead and put the chocolate. Can't open this. Wow. Just 
skills, bro. I got this. Okay. There you go. So these are what I'm using. I'm using this brand. The reason why I got it is because it reminded me, I don't know if you guys have tried their ice cream, the cookie ice cream. Bomb, right? So that's why I got these chocolates. So it says to not be greedy. So I'm putting the whole bag. Well, right here is asking me to mix the chocolate. So I'm really thinking that I can use my hands now. Oh my God. This is starting to smell real good. And it's starting to actually look like, you know, cookie dough and all. I'm going to say it's looking pretty freaking good right now. Like, look at that. That looks real. I'm so excited. Not, okay, I'm not going to fail. Can I knock on wood? I'm not going to fail. So it says to do little bolitas and not to do no more than uh, two tablespoons. So this is one. This is two. Depending how big you want your cookies to be. Let's make them fatty. Okay. So just going to roll it up. This reminds me of like when I'm doing tortillas. How, I don't even know how you're supposed to like display it. Is this fine? Do I need to like flatten it? Or anything give a little texture that yeah, you better cook right okay I didn't just spend money on you and did all of this for nothing okay you better taste good this took way longer to prepare than it should have but you know it's my first time so give me a break give me a break give me a break with that kickback Kit Kat bar <laughs> yo if I make these so good I'm gonna start just making cookies everywhere I go Alright guys, so this is what I'm working with right now. They look beautiful. So this says that this recipe actually says that I can make about 24 cookies. I still have a lot of cookie dough left. Um, I could see this being 24, but I made them so fat because, you know, uh, fat girl problems. But let's go ahead and transfer this into the oven. So my oven, again, is already preheated to 375. And I'm just going to stick this in there alrighty you better taste good so it says to cook for about um, 8 to 10 minutes but because I did put foil instead of baking sheets it tends to cook a little bit faster so I'm gonna be checking up on it um, you can see them in here sorry this is like real messy but it's in there so that's Hope for the best. Hey guys, so it's starting to smell real good. And my timer literally just went off. So it's been eight minutes and I'm not sure if I should take them out now or if I should just give it maybe two minutes. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna give it two more minutes because like I said, it can do, you can be at least 10, eight to 10 minutes, but I'm just a little scared. I've never seen them, but they look so good. Okay, I'm just gonna let them bake just for two more minutes, two. Okay, so I need both of my hands to be able to take this out, so let's take them out. This is what they look like right now. They start to get a little bit of, you know, brown. They look very, like, doughy, which is a good sign, according to what I read online. You want them to look a little bit doughy. You don't want to overcook them. Sorry, my dog is acting a little cray. But it says to let them sit for about two minutes. So I'm just going to let them sit for a while and then we'll come back and see what's good. Okay, so my cookies are done and I'm a little excited because, look, they look so freaking good. And this one just looks so cute. Look at how small it is. It's freaking adorable. So cute. So here comes the truth. I've already let them cool down for like about five minutes or so. So they're a little bit warm, but not like really warm. Like they're pretty cool now, um, but they're not cold. That's what I'm trying to say. So it's time for the taste test and I'm a little bit nervous. I have my cookie and I have my milk. It feels very nice and soft. It smells really good. So here we go. Cheers to you and me. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's really good. It's completely cooked. It, I don't feel any, like, 
gooeyness, but yet it's soft. It's not hard because I hate hard cookies. Look at that. You see? I was not greedy with the chocolate. It has like a nice little, um, not like a crunch, but it has just a nice little cookie layer on top. Yet the inside is really nice and soft and chocolatey. Girl! I made some good cookies. Mom doesn't like being on camera, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have her try it, but my microphone is right here, so I want you guys to hear her reaction. So get a little bit closer so the mic can hear you. Mm. I did good for my first time. So good, because it's soft, it's not hard. It's soft. And it's well done, it's not like um, undone. Yeah, it's a lot of chocolate. I know. Good. <laughs> And she took my cookie. That's fine because I got more to go. So my brother as well does not want to be on camera. That's fine. Um, my dad's taking a shower, but I'm going to get his reaction just like I did for my mom. So here is your cookie. <laughs> it's a chocolate chip cookie. So I want you to smell it. I want you to taste it. Tell me what you think. It's thick. It's thick. Yeah. It's bomb. Girl, for the first time, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm gonna be making more cookies more often. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, so you heard it from here. My cookies are bomb, so I'm giving y'all hope for those who have never baked before. It's possible. Anything's possible. Anything's possible. I'm actually really freaking excited. So, I think one thing I want to do just for the fun of it is I'm gonna open this cookie kind of like in the middle and try to do like, I don't know, seductive cookie view. <laughs> so oh my god mm. so good so good so good all right guys so i hope you guys like this video if you did make sure to hit that like button subscribe to my channel if you haven't already make sure to hit that bell button to get notified whenever i upload new videos follow me on instagram and snapchat i post the previews of what i'm filming and all the good good the good stuff <laughs> I just feel like I say so much and I'm so forgetful. But if you guys want me to film more videos like this, I really do enjoy cooking and baking and all that. Um, I think it's a very good experience and it's just fun. I really do enjoy these kind of videos. I guess, you know, we get to experience things together. So, uh, yeah. Let me know if you guys are going to be making these cookies or if you did, how they did blah, 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 blah. how did they turn out or give me any tips on things that I should maybe do next time too. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.